Today we're hearing from San Diego's bishop who was just appointed to be a cardinal by Pope Francis. Our Jamie Chambers is live in Claremont with Bishop Robert McElroy's message today. Jamie. Yeah, guys, he says that it was the surprise of his life to be elevated from bishop to cardinal. And since he got the message, he hasn't slept because he's been responding to so many people from all over the world. In the middle of the night, the messages started pouring in to the then bishop. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And I thought to myself, congratulations on what? And in the dim light of the cell phone, Bishop Robert McElroy was elevated to cardinal. I'm deeply honored by this appointment. I'm particularly pleased that I am remaining here in San Diego. The liberal leaning of Cardinal McElroy have aligned closely with the Pope's beliefs of including the LGBT community and giving the Eucharist to people who are politically pro-choice, even if the church is pro-life. More inclusion uh, and outreach to people who have been alienated from the church in the past. Uh, it, it's, it's care for the environment in a particular way and the broad range of social issues in the life of the church and society. And it's for a more pastoral orientation uh, uh, rather than a strict doctrinal orientation. Cardinal McElroy spoke about the child sex abuse scandals inside the Catholic Church and committed to taking it head on. We can't put it behind us because then we lose sight uh, of, of our own sinfulness in this regard in our history. And, and we can only forge real security and safety for young people and, and a renewal of the church if we keep those in the forefront of our, our memory. And his eminence, when asked about potentially being pope, had this to say. I don't think an American should be pope, and I'll tell you why. Uh, in, in the universal community of the church, uh, the United States still has so much power on so many levels, economically, politically, internationally, and, and to have the pope be American too, seems to me a counterpoint to the witness that the church has to continually be giving. So I would oppose any American being elected pope. So technically he's not a cardinal yet. He is cardinal designate and he will be uh, appointed cardinal by the pope in August. He's been elevated alongside 21 other cardinals and he will have the duties of selecting the next pope if this pope, Pope Francis, dies or resigns. And he will also be a close confidant of the pontiff in the years to come. That's the very latest from Bejo. I'm Jamie Chambers. We'll send it back to you in the studio.